Good afternoon, everybody. I want to apologize to all today's speakers because my portrait, portraits actually, are hanging all over the institute. Not because I am the best speaker, because I am very handsome. <laughs> Recently, I was talking to a friend of mine who is a scholar at the university or institute in Moscow. And in this conversation, he mentioned a name which was totally unfamiliar to me. And I said, who is the guy? And he said, you don't know him? Shame. So I googled the name and they really discovered that it was really a shame that I never heard about this man. I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know? Viktor Frankl. Anybody heard this name? Yeah. Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> so, actually, I found uh, you know, a lot of material in the internet, and I'm going to, to talk to you about this outstanding personality. He was a famous, he lived in mid-30s in Vienna, Austria, and he was founder of the today well-known theory in uh, uh, psychology, which is called logotherapy. You know about this theory? I think it's very important for us, particularly for the students of journalism, to know about the theory, and then later I'll be talking about the major ideas and thoughts of Viktor Frankl. Because to be a good journalist, public relations uh, specialist, or even diplomat, it's quite important to know what Viktor Frankl was thinking about the human relationship. And he was a Jew, and when uh, Germans occupied Austria, he was granted American visa, but he dis decided not to go because his family stayed in Vienna, and he decided to stay with them. And in, 90, in 1942, he was transported to the concentration camp. So the general idea of his theory was that under any circumstances, even very hard circumstances, the life has a meaning. And in 45, uh, 42, he had a chance, if I can say so, to prove the th theory in practice. He was writing in his book when he was released from the, from the concentration camp that one day he was walking along a muddy road in torn out shoes. His feet were covered by ulcers and he was, his uh, brain was busy, you know, about many dreadful things usual for prisoners of the concentration camp. And suddenly he decided to raise above the circumstances. And he imagined himself standing in the big auditorium delivering a lecture. And he actually imagined himself not in concentration camp, but in uh, other circumstances, in a very peaceful circumstance, of teaching uh, students his theory. So in 42, uh, he spent three years in concentration camps in Dachau and in uh, Auschwitz. All his family was killed. When he was released, nobody was alive. But it, it did, it, this is his number in the concentration camp. And he wrote a famous book about his experience, the experience of scientists in concentration camp. And these books are more than 30 books, and these books are translated into all all languages, you know, all uh, popular languages, uh, Russian included. So you can buy his book, books in uh, ordinary Russian shops. And uh, you remember that I mentioned that his theory has a very practical meaning for our students as well. <coughs> Maybe somebody uh, knows that I'm delivering lectures on uh, social networking, right? Anybody is attending these lectures? Yes. Yes. So it's very important. I'm going to talk to you in proper Russian about Franco. But now I want you to listen to what he's teaching us. For instance, learning. 
You cannot discover new oceans unless you have the courage to lose sight of the shore. Do you follow me? <coughs> you can't discover the new ocean if you don't have the courage to lose the sight of the shore. And tips for learning. Be prepared to ask questions even if no one else is. Are you prepared to ask questions under any circumstances? Yes. Yes? Good. Make a commitment to learn something new each day. Very simple, but very useful and very practical. At the end of each day or week, think about what you have learned. Smile. <laughs> See learning as a positive challenge, not a frustration. For many people, for many students who are studying at our institute, it's frustration. Attitude of gratitude. Have an attitude of gratitude. Never forget those who helped you along the way. It's about our teachers. Be grateful. Don't forget them. Focus on what you have rather than what you don't have. It's uh, a little bit controversial, but uh, still it's a very interesting argument. We'll discuss if you want later. Find things to be grateful for each day. Become aware of the environment around you. Start noticing the little things. Think about where you sit in the pecking order of humanity. Pecking order of humanity is a very special expression, maybe not Many of you do understand what does it mean, but imagine yourself in the, where are you in the group of your friends? Where are you in the uh, group of the nations on the, or in the humanity? You are very small things in the comparison with the big world, but still you are very important. Still your, in Russian literature there is, uh, Каждый человек имеет смысл, что весь мир без меня. Decision. Life is a series of choices and decisions. Seek out for mentors to assist in your decision making. Do you follow me? You know, I can't see by your faces. Eyes that you are. Make sure these mentors have been through the same or similar experience and succeeded and survived. We need somebody who had the same experience because we trust them more. If somebody tells you about how important is uh, learning and studying and this man never studied and never had experience of uh, to be a student, then you don't trust him. Most decisions can be reversed. True or wrong? True. True. Or wrong? True. Have the courage to do that if required. Have the courage to do the things if required. Purpose. If you don't know where you are going, you will be probably end up somewhere else. You must have the clear idea what you are going to achieve, otherwise you can end up somewhere else. Ask yourself, why are you doing something? Ask yourself, what would give you the most satisfaction in life? Ask yourself about the benefits you are giving others from what you are doing. Will you follow me? Yeah. Smile then. Give me a reaction. Take time out to think about true purpose in life. Do you think about the true purpose of life? Or you don't care at all? Well, we do. You do? Who, who does? Good for you. <laughs> Optimist is about acceptance, believe in opportunity and good outcomes. You all must be very optimistic. Smile. <laughs> accept that most people are trying to do their best. Do you accept it? Yes. 
good. Except that the wall is not perfect. Yes. Look for solutions rather than problems. Agree? Yes. Good. Seek out for people who are optimists. That's me. <laughs> Thank you very much. But you must promise me that you will find his books. He is really a fantastic thinker and he influenced the world a lot. If you find his lectures in the internet, he was delivering lectures all over the world, in America, in Canada, in Europe, and he had fa fantastic examples, you know. He was very uh, articulate, expressing his views. Viktor Frankl, give me your word that tonight you will switch on your computers and you will find Viktor Frankl. For sure. Thank you. Thank you.